Hi, Jeff. Hey, how you doing, folks? Good to see you again. The last yes. Time I... When was it? Oh, last time I saw you, I had my 2014 gear up. That was, uh, what, a couple of years ago? Maybe three now? Something like that. Yes. Um, so tell us about the transition from the gear up, which is two wheel drive, and you also had it military themed, yep. to this absolutely amazing, and you did a great job with setting this bike up. It's a 2016. It sure is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and it's a retro uh, M70. Correct. So tell us about this bike and what everybody has a question for, you would be the best person to ask. How is it? What is the difference between the two-wheel drive and a single-wheel drive? Um, and you put some miles on both. So. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. I, uh, I loved both of them equally, I'll tell you. Um, my, the previous one, the gear up I had was camouflage scheme. Um, and it had the two-wheel drive. Uh, I only actually used the two-wheel drive once uh, when I went to Maine, where we used to have a camp when I was a kid. Uh, and I went through some sand and things like that, and I went down in some trails, uh, and I had a blast with it. It was great. Um, I never used it in the winter, uh, and it always stayed very clean as a result. As Ted, our mechanic, our beloved mechanic, was fond of telling me, he'd look at the bike and go, and I'm, he'd look at it, and I'm like, what's wrong, Ted? Oh, it's too clean, too clean. I'm like, that's that's because I'm not your usual your rider. I don't go camping. I don't go through the winter with it. But uh, I love them equally. I love the two-wheel drive and people's reaction to it. Um, and it was a very unique ride, of course. Um, and uh, I went in one day, and I totally didn't expect to do this. But I went in for some maintenance on my gear up, and I came out with the M70. I made the mistake of walking into the showroom uh, while I was waiting, and I came around the corner, and there it was. I fell in love instantly. The perfect olive drab color scheme, uh, and it was an M70, so it had only a single wheel drive. Better for the street uh, overall because it's lower, it's longer, uh, handles better. Um, I would say you probably get a little bit better gas mileage because you don't have the extra weight of the you know, two wheel drive. Um, and uh, it just looks more like the original setup looked back in whatever it was 1939 coming out of russia that is uh, correct yeah. 1939 when uh it wasn't called ural it was called m72 and it was a military equipment and uh it was a contract with germany and they set up the factory in the suburbs of moscow and uh, because of that we we have them now here in the united states um so with this bike i will just mention for those viewers that are not that familiar so the retro configuration is uh, still the same engine the same drive train except it doesn't have two-wheel drive but you have a classic look with the uh, a-frame teardrop gas tank single piece headlamp you have telescopic forks that traditionally not the best for the sidecar but Jeff tell us how does it feel going from uh, gear up, which has um, the leading fork front suspension, and uh, your first few hundred miles? What was your reaction to how this bike handles on the road? Um, I, I think, especially around right hand turns, I've noticed a difference because it is lower, um, that it handles a bit better. I think it's the telescopic forks a little bit softer which is good because I'm 57 years old, so I need a little softer ride. That's it's good for my butt uh, and my general health, I think. But um, the gearing is the other thing that I noticed. When I go on the highway, it doesn't feel like it's laboring quite as much um, when I'm going 65 or 70 miles an hour uh, because the gearing is different in this bike than it was on my gear up. Um, I think fourth gear is more of an overdrive uh, on this bike. Uh, so that, that's a good thing. Um, and uh, just I think just generally it's more livable on the street. Um, I tend to go a little bit faster and, and you know zing around on the back roads a little faster than I think most year old guys do. Um, so it's important to me to have something that handles a little bit better. Um, well, I'll mention uh, again for the viewers, um, Jeff has a Ural with uh, which is not an available option now, but it was a high gear ratio. So yes, this bike has a high gear ratio on a newer Urals, 
2019 and newer, the way the engine set up, you would get the same performance on the highway. So those bikes you can easily do 75 and some riders reported even higher speeds on the highway. So Jeff, thank you very much for allowing us to enjoy your bike. Well, it's my pleasure. For a little over five minutes, which is a long time for, for YouTube. So um, what would you say to someone who has been a motorcyclist for a long time and is unsure about a sidecar thing? Well, if you've been a motorcyclist for a long time like I have, I've been on the road for 45 years or so actually, uh, ever since I got my license when I was 16. Sidecars are great because it's a whole new thing. It's a whole nother uh, realm. It's, a, it's more of a challenge. You've got to be careful on right hand turns because the sidecar likes to come over the motorcycle for physics reasons. Um, left hand turns, if you want, you can be like the unknown stuntman and go flying around them as fast as you want. Uh, you know, don't try this at home, but you, you've got to be an accomplished sidecar person. Uh, but you can get the rear end kicked out because the sidecar is taking all the weight of the turn. Uh, but it's it's fun. It's it's just so much different. I have three other motorcycles, and I end up taking this out all the time. So they're being neglected, and I'm thinking of selling two of them uh, for that reason to simplify my life a little bit if I'm going to be on this most of the time. And the guys at Ural of New England are absolutely wonderful. I went in to have one recall done today, and they ended up doing a couple other things for me. Um, they fit me in without a problem. They know I'm a little ways away in Danvers, Mass. Uh, so they got things done for me. They're just wonderful. I got coffee out of the deal and everything, uh, and they're all wonderful people. Dimitri, Olga, John, and in, in, uh, back in the service area, they're, they're wonderful. Uh, and I look forward to coming to see them every time. They have this spring and fall rallies. Uh, and back to the original thing, if you want something different, get a sidecar. It's got plenty of room for your gal, your wife, um, your dog, or your pig, as we've seen at one of our previous rallies. Uh, and I think you really enjoy it. You want to go camping, you got a trunk, you got all the space where the passenger would normally be. Um, you can buy some bits and bobs, you can do some extra storage if you want. Uh, and I think you have a blast in a sidecar. You make friends real fast. Just well, set aside some extra time because people are going to question you about it. So. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much. We got your smile out of your today's visit and this video. Thank you. You're very welcome. We'll see you next time, folks. Be careful out there.